Well hello there my fellow standards, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So in this video I will be telling you everything you need to know about the Gatling Plasma in Fallout 76 as of 2022. So before we start, make sure that you're sub with the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So the Gatling Plasma is a really interesting weapon in Fallout 76. It uses plasma cartridges, which are not the easiest things in the game to find, but it's definitely a really really cool weapon to use. So if you want to obtain a physical copy of this weapon without buying it, you should most probably start looting garment supply drops and spawning them. There's a pretty good chance that you could get one that way. You could also find a copy of this weapon behind level 2 locks in the Meyer area. These are all the ways that you could obtain a physical copy of this weapon without buying it. However, if you're looking to buy a physical copy of this weapon, you could buy one in the armory section of the Enclave's bunker. Here, the Modus Armory Terminal. He always has a guaranteed copy of this weapon in his inventory and sadly these are the only ways that you could obtain a physical copy of this weapon. However, when it comes to getting his plan, it's a little bit easier. So for obtaining a physical copy of this weapon's plan, you could find it in random containers in the Savage Divide, the Ash Sheep, the Mire and the Cranberry Buck area. You could get it by killing boss creatures in the Savage Divide, the Ash Sheep, the Mire and the Cranberry Buck area. And by boss creatures, I mean creatures like Super Mutant Behemothes, Deathclaw, fog crawlers, hermit crabs, and creatures like that that are quite hard to find and are quite tough. You could get it in random weapon spawns in the set areas. You could find it by farming treasure maps in the Savage Divide, the Ash Sheep, the Mire, and the Cranberry Bug area. And also there's a low chance that you could obtain a copy of this weapon's plan from daily ops when you're in between level 30 and 49. Just keep in mind the chances are quite low, so I recommend that you don't really count on obtaining a copy of this weapon's plan from daily ops. However, if you have some caps lying around and you want to buy it, again, you could buy it from here in the Enclave's bunker, from the armory section, the Modus armory terminal. As you could see, he has a guaranteed copy of this weapon's plan in his inventory. Just keep in mind, it's extremely expensive. Personally, I farmed it, I didn't buy it. But if you feel like you have the caps to spare, then go for it. And these are pretty much all the ways that you could obtain a copy of this weapon's plan. Now let us talk about this weapon's mods. So this weapon has 5 mods, which 4 of them are loose mods. Meaning that you could get them by randomly scrapping this weapon over and over, or by doing enclave missions, or just randomly buy them from train stations. However, the only exception is the prime receiver. The only way that you could obtain the prime receiver for this weapon and any other weapon in Fallout 76 is by killing the Scorch Queen. And by killing the Scorch Queen, I mean either shooting the last shot at the Scorch Queen or dealing the most amount of damage to the Scorch Queen in the Scorch Earth event. And that way the Scorch Queen will randomly drop a prime receiver plan for you. Just keep in mind prime receivers usually suck, so don't really think about it because they use ultra sight ammo that is extremely expensive to craft and not really worth it. And besides that one, all of the other mods are just easy to find. So yeah guys, so this is anything that you need to know about this weapon. If you really need a copy of this weapon and just don't have the caps or the time to farm it, you could go down there, join my Discord server, text me there and I could craft one and give it to you for free. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comment section or join my Discord server, link in the description. And I will catch you on our next video. Take care guys.